Hey you guys, welcome to the Daily Devotion. My name is Megan Taylor Robin. I'm the worship director at the Exchange Student Ministries and a proud member of Crossroads Church. If you don't know me, here are a few fun facts. I'm a music teacher. I probably sing more than I talk. And I got married a little over eight months ago to the amazing Grant Robin. Um, today's devotion is called Made to Last Forever. And I want to talk about the fact that we as humans were created to last forever. Let me explain. Back in college, we had a popular phrase going around. You probably have heard it before. It goes, YOLO! <laughs> and it means you only live once, so you got to live it up. Do what you got to do while you're alive, because when you die... It's all over. Well, I want to come against that mindset today and say, YOLO has got to go. In Ecclesiastes 3.11 in the Bible, it says that God has planted eternity in the human heart. This life is not all there is. Our life here on the earth is just a dress rehearsal for the real production. Death is nothing but a gateway and life, true life is waiting through the door. The Bible refers to our earthly bodies as tents and our eternal bodies as a house. Now, I don't know about you, I may be a little bit of a princess, but when I have gone camping, I love sleeping in the tent, I love laying out under the stars, roasting marshmallows by the fire. However, I was always super excited about the fact that in five days, I would be back in my bed with locked doors, air conditioning, the TV, and the refrigerator, all the luxuries that we're so blessed with here in America. I wanted to go back to my house. Well, that's a great comparison for our lives. We're setting up camp temporarily on the earth, but one day this too shall pass and we're going to spend eternity with God. So let's talk about this heavenly dress rehearsal a little more. Heavenly dress rehearsal will cause you to live differently. What we do with these 100 or so years affects our eternity. This mindset will cause you to elevate the way you love people, carefully choose what you do with your time and talents. You'll start to view trends and worldly values as irrelevant. And you will start to choose character and integrity over chasing clout. Let's talk about this other mindset, this YOLO mindset. People who live with a YOLO mindset participate in a dress rehearsal where they choose to live a life without God. They indulge in total self-centeredness. They believe death is a termination date. And so they live for the now. They don't worry about the consequences of their actions. Sadly, I just want to be real with you. If you are choosing today to live a life without God, you're ultimately choosing to live a life in eternity apart from God. And I don't want that for anyone. So allow me to challenge you today. Think about it this way. Your mom was pregnant with you and carried you for nine months. When that nine months was over, it wasn't the end for you. You thought it was because everything familiar to you changed. You came out screaming and yelling. You thought you were dying, but you weren't. You were coming into the world. You were being born. Well, let me submit this to you. This world is kind of like a second pregnancy. We are here for no more than a hundred years, and then we aren't terminated, but we are simply birthed into eternity. And though it feels like the end of something, it's actually the beginning. It's kind of like the final happy birthday where our creator, the father, welcomes you to the biggest and best surprise birthday party of your life. In John 2.17, it says, This world is fading away along with everything that it craves. But if you do the will of God, you will live forever. 
Boy, that's some perspective that I can cling to today. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much that you sent your son Jesus over 2,000 years ago from heaven to earth, that he took human form and he died a horrible death on a cross, all to wash away our sin, our yuckiness, and Lord, make us in right standing with you. I thank you that because of that act, you showed us your love and your grace, and you have enabled us to live a righteous life to have a dress rehearsal that is pleasing unto you that one day we might spend eternity with you. We love you so much, God, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys soon.